Hi, my name is Rob York, and I'm an extension specialist with UC Berkeley. And my focus is really on uh, thinking about the, the big issues with respect to forest management in California. And certainly one huge issue that we have right now, and arguably we've had for quite a while, is increasing fire severity. And so we know from lots of research and, and from, from practice that prescribed fire, or controlled burns is another name for that, uh, we know that prescribed fire can be a very effective tool for reducing fire severity uh, when wildfires do occur. And so what we thought we could do is provide some video clips uh, for how to do a certain type of prescribed fire, uh, and that's going to be uh, winter, what I call winter burning. Uh, and so, you know, prescribed fire can be done in, in different parts of the year. Uh, and so the idea of winter burning, um, in some ways, uh, uh, there's a simplicity to winter burning, but in other ways, there's, there are complexities around this idea of winter burning. And so we want to cover uh, the different um, factors involved with, with winter burning, uh, especially for those folks out there who are landowners, uh, forest landowners, and they want to potentially do their own prescribed burns, uh, or foresters, so forest, forest managers who um, don't have a lot of experience doing prescribed burns, but they want to get into it. So winter burning can be, uh, I think, a pretty good uh, entry point into prescribed burning. And we're here at Blodgett Forest Research Station, uh, which we think is really uh, the best location to do uh, demonstration and education around uh, the topic of prescribed burning. And that's because we've been doing prescribed burns at Blodgett Forest every year for the past 20 years. And we've uh, uh, burned in all different times of the year, summer, fall, winter, and spring. Uh, and so it's really a good stage, if you will, for, uh, for showing you how winter burns can be done uh, and also showing you the uh, effectiveness of winter burning. A quick example here right, uh, right now is I'm in an area where we've done uh, winter burns in. If you can see behind me, uh, there's a dense forest. That's on Forest Service land where no, uh, per no um, prescribed burn uh, has occurred. Uh, in this particular location where I'm standing, uh, we've done a thinning treatment and then also a winter burn treatment with some students actually, uh, some, some junior high school students helped us with this burn, interestingly. Uh, and we did this about a year ago. And so um, oh, we're going to show you lots of different examples of how you can you know, kind of achieve uh, what, we've, what we've come up with here uh, in terms of, of conducting uh, um, winter burns. So um, check them out if you can.